Uh, touch base and let everybody know what's going on. Uh, a lot of people are doing these shop updates. So that's what I'm going to do uh, this evening. I hope you can hear me over the rain. I had no idea it was going to rain like this when I come down here. But um, I've got the coffee table project going on. I've got some footage of that. It probably would be up. It might be up for the first of the year. Today is the 28th of December. I had a couple more people subscribe to the channel. I did a video a while back on that. Thank you again. Um, I'm doing some uh, lighting stuff in here. Uh, I've got three different color light bulbs so far, unfortunately. And I've done some rearranging. But um, I'll get to that. Uh, I'll have the footage up of the coffee table that I'm working on. This live edge. This is the plank for it. It's right at an inch of red, thick, and 18 inches wide. I ripped one edge off of a live edge board and then glued them together so I have one wide live edge plank to uh, do that with. And I'm doing a, I guess you would call it a trestle style uh, leg set up for it with a flat leg across the bottom and then a post that comes up. And a board that goes across the top for the tabletop and now on. So that's how that's going to be done. But I'll get now to uh, showing you. I took down one of my shells that was just a catch all for everything. And uh, I put a cabinet up that I got from a friend of mine that works at a hospital. Uh, he got me some cabinets. So I'll take the camera now and then I'll show you that. Uh, the camera won't be on the tripod, so hopefully. You know, I will try to make the video quality as best I can with the shape of Okay, this is one of the cabinets that I got. I've got some more for the lawnmower shop. I don't have anything in this one here yet. Uh, this is the 2 before in there. It's the 2 before I use for calls. And I used it as a spacer uh, when I mounted it to the wall. My other shelf like this is no more. I took it down. Uh, and I cut that tube of six up to uh, make my runners to mount it to so it's screwed securely to the wall and uh, I've got a place for my Bosch nail gun uh, there's nothing in that one there's a saw blade in that one I mean that's a uh, Bosch nail gun I'm sorry not a Bosch the Bosch jigsaw is in there right now and a couple of lathe tools uh, some kind of roughing gouge, two roughing gouges and some kind of other little whatever that thing is. I ain't into all that blade turning yet. But uh, there's the project. I've still got to put pilot drill from our bolts to go in the bottom of that. And I moved, I've got these clamp-on lights. Um, that come from Lowe's and I'm using the compact fluorescent bulbs in them. Um, it was over the radio long saw, and I've got another light that's going to go here, like that one. But uh, I've got to return it. I got it home and realized that the box had been opened and retaped back up. I didn't catch it in the store. And this light has no hardware, no uh, chain for hanging it. So, uh,. I've got another light like that to go above the radio arm saw where I can see uh, on my marks when I lay my boards up here to cut. Uh, I can see the mark a little better. It'll go right up there and be plugged in to probably that one. Because I'm just using the garage plug-in lights. And what I meant by the color of the light bulbs, that light bulb is one color, that light bulb is one color, and that light bulb is one color. So, I didn't realize, I didn't know what type of bulbs that I already had in here. 
I was trying to keep it all the same for the sake of the camera so it doesn't have to fight to focus everything but that's just the shop update I'm getting ready to review the rigid uh, skill saw that I bought a couple weeks ago I've used it a couple times um, I used it to cut those actually that's what I used it for that's when it's out and uh, the camera battery died on me so I didn't get to do it when I got the footage to the coffee table so I'll be doing that here shortly I found out with this new Canon camera I fill up I run out the battery before I fill up the SD card so the SD card 64 gig the plan is clean these drawers out put a top on that and shove it under that table and then right here I have two more that have a drawer and a cabinet drawer and cabinet and what I'm planning on doing is separating them I've got them screwed together right here I'll separate those be able to stand for them and bring them up to the height of this workbench here minus the top then when I put my top on it this set and this set will be the same height and then I'll probably end up putting another hanging down light here one of those uh, garage fluorescents put it over here and then I'll have a miter saw stand or I can put the miter saw away and use the lathe or whatever um, leave one cabinet probably right there where it's at and bring the other one on down uh, a couple feet to right here to uh, give me room to set that miter saw off in the floor there when I'm not using it now a lot of the times that miter saw stays in the tool trailer out right there because I build decks and stuff and uh, do ha uh, handyman work so a lot of times the miter saw stays out in the trailer so that won't be a problem but I just wanted to give everybody a little bit of a shop update I know it's not the cleanest shop but it gives me it does what I need to do and I'm pondering some things for the new year some new project ideas um, um, I do outdoor furniture as well and I'm fixing to um, start trying to price out my picnic table frames in 16 gauge uh, inch and a half steel and just use the lumber for the top that way the frames will last longer they shouldn't cost too much more and you can just replace the lumber on top instead of having to buy a new picnic table every so often when when the layers right on the the one that you have so i've ordered for up in the lawnmower shop i've ordered a lincoln electric weld pack 140 mig welder it uses flux core wire or gas and so that's what I plan on welding the picnic tables together with and there will be footage of that and uh, just, uh, pro probably a review on that welder so. I kind of like the look of steel and uh, wood together but I appreciate everybody watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please subscribe and rate and comment and have a great day and a happy new year. Thank you.